Hi and welcome to Velo GPS. In this video we're going to show you how to install OpenStreetMaps on your Garmin Edge 520 to enable more detailed mapping and navigation as demonstrated in our 520 navigation video. If you haven't already seen this video then click on the link and check it out. So the first thing we're going to need to do is generate a map image to install onto the 520 and we do that by visiting this particular website which is garmin.openstreetmap.nl uh, so we'll just zoom in on that and we can see garmin.openstreetmap.nl so once we pop that into our browser and arrived at the website we need to choose the map type which is going to be routable bicycle and then we ignore the predefined countries and what we want to do is just scroll down to the map and once we're on the map uh, we can then drag that to the country or region we're interested in so we're going to take a look at the UK where we're based and just zoom in to the south coast just a little too far there and once you're there you then need to just select this little tick box here or check box rather to enable manual tile selection and once you've done that you're going to be able to individually click on the tiles to generate the map for the region you're interested in. So we're taking a look at the southwest of the UK here. And what you need to do as you're just clicking on these tiles is just keep an eye on this little figure over on the left-hand side, which is telling us the file size for the image and map that you're generating. Uh, and this is of particular relevance because the Edge 520 only has a limited uh, memory available. It doesn't have a memory card slot for inserting micro SD cards or anything like that you are limited to around about uh, 70 to 80 megabytes for the map image uh, in order to leave enough memory on the device for recording your ride data. So once you've got the area that you're interested in and you've made sure that's in the region of 70 to 80 megabytes, what we need to do here is enter an email address because the site actually generates your image and then sends you an email with links to that. So we're just going to enter our email address. Okay, and we've got that in and then we're going to hit build my map and the site just then gives us a little message uh, saying that it's going to send us two emails the second of which will include links to where we can download uh, our various map files from so let's just pop across to our email account and see what's arrived Okay, so we've opened up our emails and we have a message advising us that we've successfully requested a Garmin map. We also have a link below to a web page that shows the current status of that request, uh, as well as some information here that advises that once, uh, once it's been created, the map will only be available for up to 96 hours. So we do need to check our mail frequently enough to avoid missing that download window. So let's just see if we've received any additional emails. Okay, so it's about a minute later and we've received the second email advising us that our request for a Garmin map is now ready. So the time that takes to come through will vary dependent upon how busy the servers are. But what the server has done is generate four different configurations of our map. And the particular zip file that we're interested in is this one gmapsup.zip because this contains a single combined image uh, that is for direct replacement or placement rather onto a GPS device such as our Edge. 520. So if we click on this link below that will take us to a download page where we can obtain the GMAPS up zip folder. So we'll just click on that now. And we've arrived at the download page and again it's the GMAPS up.zip that we're interested in. So if we click on that it will start to download and we'll quickly monitor that download process. So we've got three or four minutes remaining so we're quickly going to fast forward through this and pick the video up shortly afterwards. Okay, so that's our download complete and we're now going to show you how to install the file onto your Garmin Edge 520. Okay, so once your download is complete, you should find the downloaded file within your downloads folder. So here we can see it. it's the gmapsup.img file. And this is what we need to copy to our Garmin uh, Edge 520. So we've plugged our Edge 520 into the computer and it's appeared as a mountable external drive. Uh, so what we need to do is look in the Garmin's folders. And within the Garmin files, we can find a file called gmap.b 
bmap.img. So this is the uh, map image that already exists on the Edge 520, and what we want to do is replace it. So before we do so, we just want to take a copy of this and save that somewhere secure. So if we copy it, and then we're going to paste that into our documents folder and quickly wait for that to transfer. So we're just going to pause quickly and once that's transferred we'll restart the video. Okay, so our original gmap bmap.img uh, file has now been copied across uh, as a backup. So if we go back into the uh, Garmin device, so we're back into our Edge 520's uh, internal memory and folders, we can now take the gmap bmap .img folder and move it to trash. Uh, and because we're on a Apple Mac, we will just need to empty the trash in order to free up the space on the Edge 520. So if we empty trash, that is now properly gone. And what we now want to do is copy across the gmap sup.img file that we downloaded from the website. So we're going to copy that. We're going to go back to our Garmin folders and we're going to paste it into the Garmin folder on our Edge 520. So that's now copying across, and again that's just going to take a few minutes, so we'll quickly stop the video and restart once that is downloaded. Okay, so we've successfully downloaded the GMAP SUP image file to our Garmin Edge 520. Now, if you recall, the original uh, map file that was on the 520 was called GMAP BMAP. So we just need to change the title of the file in order for it to be recognised properly by the Edge 520. So we've changed the GMAP SUP.img to GMAP BMAP.img. Okay. And in order to be able to navigate uh, courses and use the uploaded map tiles, all you need to do now is unplug your Edge 520, reboot it, and when it turns back on, if you've got courses installed, you'll be able to navigate and your course will be overlaid on the map images uh, that you've uploaded to the device. Now, one thing you will need to remember is that the uh, map will only cover those areas that you uh, uploaded from the mapping website. So if you recall, there was only the southeastern part of the UK that we uploaded due to limits on file sizes that the 520 can manage. So if you wish to navigate or use maps in different areas of the UK or indeed Europe or the rest of the world, uh, all you need to do is repeat this process and install those areas that you're interested in cycling within. So we hope you found the video useful and if you have be sure to subscribe.